Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be discussing how we can reduce our plastic waste when we go to the grocery store when specifically when we're buying our fruits and vegetables in another video we'll tackle uh, going to the grocery store in general if you live in Buenos Aires then you definitely have some of these in your house because the major supermarkets are now banned from distributing plastic bags at the checkout which is awesome um, but if you go to any corner store they'll still give you uh, plastic bags so you should definitely be bringing these with you when you go to the corner market um, but if you want, you can also not bring home those plastic bags from the fruits and vegetable aisle anymore either by bringing with you your homemade produce bag, which I'm going to show you how to make in this video from the old grody t-shirts that you're never going to wear again. If you were anything like me, you probably went to pick out your fruit and vegetables, you went to the roll of plastic bags and you pulled them down and you filled your bags with maybe one or two cucumbers and a few oranges and you brought the bags home and then you may or may not have thought to yourself, well, what am I going to do with these bags now? I'm just going to throw them in the trash because they're too flimsy, they can't do anything else, or at least I don't want to think about what else they might be able to do, so they're going in the trash. Now we can cut that waste out of our lives by bringing these bags with us to the grocery store and it's very easy and quick to do and you will be doing your part. So here we go. So these old t-shirts, which uh, this one is definitely one of my mom's hair dyeing t-shirts. This is from when my husband went to this university. It now has holes in it. And this is clearly just a random old green Nike t-shirt. So we've decided that these t-shirts no longer spark any joy. Thank you, Marie Kondo. And there is a whole bag over here that's going to go to somebody who can love it. But these have a different fate. These t-shirts are going to be turned into reusable produce bags for the vegetable stand. So here we go. Okay, so these bags can end up as pretty or as haphazard as you deem worthy of a produce bag. I've decided that I want to do as little sewing as possible for the function that I'm going to give it because I'm going to be hand sewing these. I don't have a machine. Um, maybe I'll invest in one in the future, but for now I really do enjoy hand sewing. I find it meditative and repetitive and you know you just put on Game of Thrones or you put on your favorite music and you just uh, watch the needle go up and down and in and out and you listen to the sound that it makes and you can kind of trance out while you're doing this which is another added benefit. So I cut these into four pieces each and now I'll show you how to pin them up and get started sewing. I've decided that I want this paint splatter pattern to be on the outside. Again, it really doesn't matter for the purposes of these bags, but if you want things to be pretty, there's nothing wrong with that. So I want this pattern to be on the outside. So what I'm gonna do is turn this whole thing inside out, fold it back on itself. So that's pretty much impossible to do with one hand and I'm just holding this phone by myself in this room so anyway you folded it back on yourself on itself and as you can see you have this seam already made so you only have to sew these two sides of it and then of course the opening is going to be right here so let me show you how to pin this and then so here we've pinned up our fabric i don't recommend trying to sew any two pieces of fabric together without pinning them first it's just gonna make your life so much easier. Just take the few minutes it takes to find the pins and pin it together, trust me. You're gonna save a lot of time in the long run. And you, I, you don't even need to put this many pins in. You can just put in two per side and that should be enough. But since I was here, I just put a few more in. So I started these stitches. I just use simple white cotton thread. It's the easiest thing. It's very strong. And try to make your stitches pretty close together and pretty small. That's how you're going to get the strongest seam. 
and obviously if you had a sewing machine this is going to go a lot faster but i know that pretty much everybody has a needle and thread an emergency in their house somewhere so this is really something that anybody can do you don't need to go out and buy the pre-made mesh bags although those are much more attractive and um much easier to do, but this is a free alternative in case you don't want to go out and spend, you know, six or seven bucks per bag. And you've saved a bunch of plasticky polyester mixed blend t-shirts from eventually ending up in a landfill. So kudos to you. Okay, and we're just going to take out the last pin here. Here we have the bag sewn all the way around on two sides. As you see here, like I made a little knot and that was unintentional but it so does not matter because this is going to be on the inside of the bag and you will never see it again so that happens don't worry about it and this took me 20 minutes to do it's really a very quick job and one of the benefits is that it in no way needs to be perfect or perfectly straight as you can see here and so there you have it one completed produce bag for you to bring over and over and over again to the farm stand, to the farmer's market, to the grocery store. You could easily add a drawstring in this, but I decided that would be an unnecessary complication. We're talking about home sewing things by hand here, so let's just make it as easy as possible, shall we? This is totally, totally sufficient. You can open it, show the checkout person what you got in there so they can weigh it. So there you have it. Pretty simple, right? So in the next video, we will take these little dandies for a spin, and I'm sure we'll have no problem, but you never know. And um, we'll see if it all works out.